What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to properly enable GPU acceleration in Vegas Pro 18 because it's very important that you have the right settings. Otherwise, it can reduce flickering, it can lag, it can crash, it cannot preview certain effects. So there's really, really a lot of downsides if you don't have these settings properly set up. So I'm going to guide you guys through step by step how to properly do this and also explain the features why it has to be in a certain setting. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and i would say let's get started right after the intro Alright guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18 and obviously I have a clip dragged in the video from yesterday actually just to show you guys how it actually works when you are using like this GPU acceleration, how to properly use it. So of course when you have all the settings for example on default in Vegas Pro, it can be that it's not optimized onto your system and on your hardware. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go to options and we're going to go to preferences at the very bottom and then we want to go ahead and click on the video tab and right here it says dynamic dynamic RAM preview max and then it says 22,000 max available 32. Now this is the RAM memory in your computer so I'm allowing Vegas Pro to use 22 gigs actually out of the 32 so I have about 10 gigabytes left for all the other remaining stuff such as browsers, recording software and basically anything that my computer runs while I'm for example editing. So for the people that are using GPU acceleration of video processing if you have that to off you can basically set any dynamic RAM like the the amount to anything you want. I wouldn't crank it up all the way that Vegas uses all your RAM in your system. Between 10 and 15 gigs should be enough in order to go ahead and, you know, add it flawlessly. Now, the thing is, if you want to go and click on GPU acceleration of video processing, and you're going to set that to optimal NVIDIA Corporation GeForce RDX 2070, you want to basically set this number to zero because then Vegas Pro can actually choose how much RAM it wants to use. So if you're going to put it on zero, it's not going to force any kind of RAM memory usage onto your, you know, RAM and your entire computer. But that's a really important thing. So if you have this GPU acceleration of video processing on, you will put the one to optimal. But if you have it off, you can basically set this one to any amount you like, for example, 22,000. Now, I always have this off because for my computer, it works the best and is not really needed to put this one onto my graphics card. But if you're going to go ahead and set this to optimal, make sure to put this one on to zero because that's very crucial. So then you want to click on apply and then it's going to say for one or more of these changes to take effect the application must be shut down and restarted so if you're going to change your settings for example from off to optimal and you're going to change the dynamic ram preview from whatever 8 or 16 or how many you have is set uh, in my case it was 22,000. if you're going to change that from a number to zero you basically want to restart vegas so i'm going to click on okay so right now i'm just going to close out vegas and restart it all right guys so as you can see right now i'm actually recording onto my computer with OBS on on 1080p 60 FPS right now I'm literally previewing the video it is on 1920 by 1080 59 940p so this is playing back and everything is on the full resolution right here the best is on full as well and as you can see the lag is completely gone there are no flickering I can literally record in 1080p making it even heavier on my computer and still preview the video without any stutters without any you know kind of you know flickering going on or something similar to that so that's basically the huge difference this gpu acceleration function makes guys so if you never had any issues with flickering of course this video is not really that reliable to you but for the people that are wondering like what the, what are these settings basically and how can i give for example vegas pro more ram because i have for example 64 installed and i want to allow vegas pro like this amount to use just go ahead and set the settings to optimal and then the, also the dynamic review and also the dynamic preview on zero so vegas pro can actually you choose how much RAM it uses and it is that simple guys there's nothing more to it. it's a really quick video but this is just basically one of the questions I receive like how can you reduce flickering and all that it's just so different than saying like oh just buy a better graphics card and spend you know so many hundred bucks on it but if you can just go ahead and change a really really simple setting and there's nothing more to it all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to properly enable GPU acceleration just by adjusting these couple settings that will actually reduce the flickering the lag and like not preview certain effects so if you guys enjoyed this video and you find it helpful make sure to reward it with a like and down below also let me know guys in the comments down below what you would like to see in future videos thanks a lot for the community support have a great weekend i'll catch you guys obviously next week